right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jiu-jitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with the same height and a similar reach. All right, now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena, in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 22 wins, 12 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Daniel, the Hangman Hooker! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds, fighting out of New York. You've been given your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is making it official. Ready. Alright, so here we are from the world's most famous arena in the Air Force Madison Square Garden. This is where the Thug Rose scene went down, DC. This is where it happens, it is. Lost the words, so I yelled the same thing over and over again. Pick Rose Namajunas, and you can hear me yell, Thug Rose, Thug Rose, Thug Rose. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the coach. Got the single collar tie. And they separate. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Nice counter shot there. and it's blocked. Oh. 
very tricky when he throws that body kick. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Again, they clinch. Way to control the posture of your opponent. Rotate him and then throw that big elbow around the guard. Big kick lands. Oh, collar tie. Oh, shades of Ben Saunders against Brandon Wolf back in the day. A lot of knees, a lot of volume here. I'm not sure how many more he can take. My boy John Hannick is a encyclopedia of knowledge and threw it all the way back. But those knees will definitely take effect the longer this fight goes. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Hooker gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Throws the right hand there. Ooh, big shot land. Oh, that straight punch knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really putting his opponent on the way. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. Oh, nice. Oh, nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Hooker. Leg kick. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, and he lands a knee to the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You walk full speed into a knee to the body, it could in the night. Oh, nice punch there by Hooker. Nice head kick. He loaded up in that right hand, too. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Way to hide that leg kick. Huge elbow land from the clinch. Missed with that right hand. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. And he comes through with a big knee. Nice kick. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Hooker gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Final seconds here. Oh! Huge right hand! What a round! Oh, saved by the bell. The round is over. He got stunned by a massive shot just before the end of the round. So now he goes back to the stool, wobbly a little bit. We'll see if the corner can maximize these 60 seconds and keep his head in the fight. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Big kick land. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And that one certainly found the target. Just misses with that one. Hooker's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. 
Just missed with the elbow there. Big kick land. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, and he got the kick. And they separate. Look at the whip action that comes through for that kick. Ooh. Unable to land with that punch. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Trying to stay in this fight. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. All right, so he's... Oh! Oh, he might be out. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Again, they will clinch. And there comes the separation now. He landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Single collar tie now. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Back to the feet. He is getting lit up right now, John. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Nice punch, win. Booker's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Nice. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Oh, a single collar tie there. Right hand punch from the clinch. He's throwing every part of his shot. Gets up again here, but hurting. Big kick. out an absolutely brutal elbow to stop his opponent here tonight. And this has clearly been a weapon that has been a part of his arsenal in his UFC career. But it takes a lot of repetitions in the gym and a lot of confidence to willingly throw elbows the way he did there. So a lot of force in a short distance. And when you execute it like that, it is absolutely devastating. <laughs> And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at four minutes, 24 seconds of round number two. We're going the winner by knockout. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, 
I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.